Now, the B.C. Government Employees Union members will go on strike next week. For now, it will be a limited walkout that happens Monday. Pickets will target three government liquor warehouses, including one in Victoria. But that may not be the end of the job action. The 27,000 members of the BCGEU have been without a contract since March. They've been in negotiations since January. And they haven't been on strike since 1988. They do not like what the government is offering, but the province says if they do walk on Monday, then that deal is off the table. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. Okay, sweet. We got enough liquor here. Scott Renton expects to sell a lot of alcohol this long weekend. And next week, when the manager of Victoria's Canoe Club restocks his fridges, he'll go here to the province's wholesale customer center. It's where he is required to purchase his alcohol. Only on Tuesday, its workers will be on strike. We've uh, made the decision to commence some strike action after six months of negotiations has failed to produce a tentative agreement. Members of the B.C. Government Employees Union plan to strike Monday for 24 hours outside Vancouver's main liquor warehouse. On Tuesday, the strike will extend to a distribution centre in Kamloops and the wholesale centre that supplies places such as Canoe Club. For us, that means it's going to just put us back one day. It'll probably not arrive till Thursday or Friday, I would imagine. The union wants a 3.5% pay increase and has a plan on how to get it. It wants the province to open liquor stores on Sunday. We close 175 liquor stores every Sunday. 600 private stores all stay open Sunday. They've figured out the business case. Sunday's a high volume day. It's also proposing new locations. We don't have a public liquor store in downtown Victoria. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. But the province is not budging, arguing the proposals would not generate enough money to meet the union's demands. And if they want more, uh, they need to identify where that money's coming from because we're not going to taxpayers for it with tax increases and we're not going deeper into debt. The province believes it's made a fair offer, a 3% wage increase over two years. But with the BCGEU demanding more, it appears the province could be in for another lengthy round at the bargaining table. The government is going to have to explain to the public that their, uh, that their position was reasonable and that the union was not reasonable and have to deal with the fallout of that when it comes to election time. But for now, the province will have to deal with a 24-hour walkout at three liquor centres. CTV's Joe Perkins joins us now with more. Joe, the target, as you pointed out, is, is symbolic. It may not affect too many people right off the bat, but where might this escalate next? Well, Hudson, the union says there will be no risk to the health or safety of anyone in British Columbia. A number of union jobs would be deemed essential of services, uh, would be deemed essential services, rather, if the job action did escalate, meaning people like corrections officers would be required to work. For now, it's the one retail store in Vancouver that will be shut down on Monday. The other locations are for wholesale use only, so for pubs and restaurants like the Canoe Club. Uh, it's the start of what could be, though, a, a lot of picketing. The union says Sundays could become picket days for liquor store workers, a sign that the employees could be working and not standing outside Hudson uh, with a picket sign in their hand. All right, Joe Perkins reporting. Joe, thank you. You're welcome.